Happy Easter, you legends. What is going on? It is Tom and Helen. Hello. In the car, having a lovely Easter Friday drive. It is Good Friday. And it is Good Friday because the weather is feeling good today. Tom is also feeling good today because he's taking on a new road that he's never driven on before. So that's pretty exciting. This is what England driving is all about. Windy roads, gorgeous scenery. Look, 12 star cafe on the left. That is. Oh, lovely. 15 stars on uh, Uber Eats, I believe. Oh, Rishworth. Never heard of this place before. <laughs> the oh. beginning of a motorway. Oh, gosh. So. <laughs> We're gonna have the love yous and leave yous for a second once we figure out what the oh. heck we're gonna do. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy by Origins. The missus for a nice little stroll in the wilderness. We are up at Blackstone Edge Reservoir. Having a good Friday walk. That's amazing. Not as good as Florida, but still. I'll take it. As long as it's not about raining, we'll take it. And then in the skyline, in the distance over there, you've got Manchester. So you can see all the way to Manchester city centre. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a cool fact. These stones were randomly just picked up then off the ground. Nobody knows who's touched these stones last. But, take one, take one. If you and your partner take a stone each to a large body of water like this, and you hold it out, and you chuck it. We are definitely the last two people on planet Earth to ever touch those stones. And that's pretty freaking cool. Look at that. Whoa. That's where our water comes from. Welcome back to the weather with Tom. Today it's windy. We have a more chance of rain. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the set of the live-action Lion King movie. We're waiting for Simba to get brought to the top of the rock. There's the path. Don't stray from the path! Don't do it! The ring race will come. So on Tom and Helen's adventures through the, the moors, we found a second reservoir. We thought we were walking around one reservoir, we walked around two. So this is, what do you call this one? White, White home. White Home Reservoir. So there you go, folks. White Home Reservoir. La Bosch. And day two of Tom and Helen's walking holiday. It's Easter time. And it's to get some fresh air. So we are out and about walking. There's Helen, she'll catch up. I've got my pace going. We're aiming to try and be about an hour something. But it looks very nice. A little bit chillier than yesterday, even though we were at the top of a mountain yesterday. But hopefully, this cloud moves and we get some sunshine in a bit. But just look at that view. Back on the set of Lord of the Rings, trekking through the abandoned forest. He saw us down there, and now we're all the way up here. Look at that. That little white building is where we parked the car, and we've walked from there all the way around that wall, all the way to this little hut there, up into the woods, and then through that woodland area, and then up this big steep hill, and then here. Pretty huge. Ladies and gentlemen, the day has only just begun, and already Tom is feeling it today, folks. Today, it's time to get this beast tamed. We're going to go to our lovely Turkish barber, who is going to tame the sides and back of my head. And then about this top bit, I think maybe once we've dropped the back and sides off, we're going to have a little chat about this top bit. we got to get the trim done. Helen's getting her trim done. So we're both going to have fresh trims for our adventure. And then tomorrow, we take on the biggest driving challenge I have ever attempted. Let's go! So with our freshed out trim acquired, boom, boom, 
Looking better, feeling good. Now we just have to wait for Helen to finish with her fresh trim, pick her up, and then we can talk business. Helen has her bag packed. Tom has his bag packed. We have Helen's Xbox and all of our Xbox accessories. We have our super tiny monitor ready for transport. We have a bunch of t-shirts and outfits going on in here. We have some gifts for the nephews. Helen has a snack bag for the adventure. And Rio, we are ready to set off Wednesday morning at five in the morning. Let's go. See you at five. Peace. It is currently 5.57 and Ooh. we are in the car. Everything's good, everything's good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Next stop, adventure. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is a uh, happy Tom because he has made the first leg of the journey so far. We have got 51 miles of driving left until we hit the M1 motorway and then it'll be smooth sailing down to London. As you can see here, out of my lovely winter window here, um, I'm glad I've packed my sun cream <laughs> and um, swimming accessories. We have 197 miles to go. Which is pretty impressive to be fair. So. We're currently doing the same drive that we did whilst we were going to Sheffield and Nottingham Way uh, a couple of weeks ago in the other vlog that we did our last adventure. So right now, this is this little bit of busyness near Sheffield that we've we read about before setting off. Just hit some roadworks. There's Rotherham there. So we're just gonna cruise through here, get past all of this annoying bit, and then hit the M1 in 50 miles, and then we'll be laughing our way down to London. Very good. It's sunny! <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Top Gear, and today we're taking the drag. <laughs> We're driving on the way to this windmill apparently. It's very nice, beautiful windmill in the distance there. Fun little thing about this windmill, occasionally it makes your car do this. Ooh, hey! There you go. <laughs> Polish the view for you guys. If you have a look at our beautiful map, you can see we are 2 hours and 24. We have made great, great, great distance. 121 miles to go. And we have finally found the bloody sunshine. Woo! Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, we have traveled far. We have come a great way. But it's time to say that we're nearly homebound. 15 minutes, oh no, 14 minutes to go. We saw, if you zoom out on the map, where you can actually see Kerry's red dot. If you zoom all the way out, Helen, use your opposite hand. There you go. You can see the waypoint, fellas. The end's in sight. Four and a half hours, hours of traveling. And uh, thank you, Kerry, for choosing to move an extra 20 minutes out of the way. That makes the drive 10 times nicer. But, um, yeah, I don't know about you northerners, but I don't like this bloody sandy motorway. We don't have that up north. We've got proper motorway. Our motorway is made out of the proper northern concrete quality. Not this lot. They've got bloody sandy motorways, and I don't like what it does to me tyres. But it is southern, so as they say, do as the southerners do. Yickety boo. We're nearly there. Welcome to the King's Wood. Home to Stewie Gilligan Griffin. <laughs> the King's Wood. Oh, speed bump. Oh, oh bloody hell. I didn't mean none of my daughter. Hello. Hello. There's Helen, she's been helping Rory with his monster of a jigsaw. There's William's jigsaw. Rory, Rory's missing some pieces. He's missing one. And he's missing. Two. He had it! He had the pieces! He had the pieces! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, da 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 da
Oh, oh. Put it down. Oh. It's in this one. It's... Welcome back to the International <laughs> Jigsaw Assembly class of 2015. There you go. Right. Yay! Two, two, two pieces. Sorry. Two pieces remain. Can I put the No, I'm putting the No, 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 no. No, no, no. There we go. One last piece. It must be there. In my salad. Ooh. Yay! Yay! I did it. Oh, it's yeah. done. <laughs> I did it. Sorry. I did it too. Shut up, William. Well done. Well done. Well done. Shut up, William. Well done. Shut up, William. Well done. 400 pieces Three in total. Tom, 300 actually. Next to each other and take a picture. Oh. Yeah, my one's bigger than yours. Oh. Sit them in front of you and flip them round. Well, I don't like this one. Flip it round. <laughs> flip it round. I hate this one. <gasps> Spoiled spot. Did someone did it. You did it. No. There's William William with his jigsaw. No, turn it round. So you have to see. William. I helped you with that one. Too bad. Hey, really? Too bad. Too oh, bad. Oh, but, Roy, but Roy didn't help with yes, this did. one. Like, he didn't help. He didn't need help. Right, go on. In my salad. William. William. What are you? No, it's me. So, ladies and gentlemen, good night. It has been a long day. The day started for me and Helen at five o'clock, and it is now currently three minutes past twelve. And it's no longer Wednesday; it's the start of Thursday. And in order to have a good Thursday, a nice long Thursday. This boy needs to go to sleep because I had done my first ever four hour plush drive. Four hours and 44 minutes. It went really well. Helen helped me out with the map and she's currently in bed and I need to also go to bed so that we can start our brand new day in a really good way. But yeah, really good, really good. Helen made jigsaws with the boys. You saw that in the other clip. But yeah, it's really cool. Really good day. Day one complete. Day two, let's go. Good morning! Hello everybody! Welcome to day two on the old adventure. There's Helen. <laughs> we got, arguably, even though we converted the living room into a bedroom, we arguably the best view to wake up to. Look at that! That's a pretty good view. We're the first two awake, so that means we're also the first two getting on with some work. Helen is in the background doing oh some work, Hello. and I have set up my Xbox, or should I say Helen's Xbox, and I'm going to record some of the new Call of Duty season. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? We are out and about, getting our steps in. We're out. We've got William. We've got Murphy. We've got Gary. We've got Rory. Hello. We've got Helen. And we've got me. And then up around Box Hill and then around, like she that, knows all the routes. Fascinating. Why are they down here? I don't know, ask them. I don't know, ask them. Ask them. <laughs> oh, why are you down here? That's the road. We're going to go and pet the cow. Come on. Maybe the bell so that it weighs it down so we can't run. Where's John Hammond? Go back, Rory. Oh, don't go that fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look, oh, it's coming. Shit. Yeah, there's footsteps up. Cow footsteps, the cows come down it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The cow comes, the cow bears its head over there, whispers. If a cow pops its head over that hill, I swear. I know down here we're going to the road and then that goes. I think you know where we, you know where the fence was. I think we should have left. This is the sheepish one. Wait, oh, this is so dumb. It just made us go down the big hill to climb back up the big hill. Yes. And we could have just looped around there. That cow, that... Welcome back to the photo shoot, darling. Here we are in the hills. It's a beautiful day for the photo shoot. Here's Helen, the photographer. He's taking the snaps. Here's our Instagram models. Smile, boys. Yes, very good. Very nice. Here I am. 
leading the pack once again, whilst they're miles behind. There they are. Up that way. Smile camper, is it? Oh. I don't where's the where is it? Oh there he is! He's a tired old dog after today. Big old trek. Good evening my happy campers. We are finishing day two. Our first full day down in London and it's been pretty good. We went for a massive walk and then we watched Jurassic Park with the boys. They'd not seen Jurassic Park before, so that was pretty cool. And then we actually got to have a couple of hours with Paul, who's my brother-in-law, and he works very hard, so we actually got to spend some time with him, which was cool. And we got to watch um, a few episodes of the TED TV show with him, so that was pretty funny. Uh, but he's gone up to bed, and we're getting ready for bed, and we're going to go out for another adventure tomorrow. So see you then. Peace. Up bright and early, and it's time to take this little degenerate to play some football with his friends. Get your ball. Do I free free always changed? triangle sign with like a deer, instead of a deer it's like two old men with a golf bag. Oh there is a sign. Oh, golfers like, crossing. Yeah, golfers crossing. Is that what it said? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That's hilarious. This is a place. Well a stick man with a golf club on his shoulder. This is a really famous golf course to order. Which way it won't show us. Oh, really Not the camera. What, over there? Yeah that one over there. Through the There's like a plane made out of sand. Oh, oh. Hill. Oh, there's a, there's a gap here, let's see. Oh, what's it called there? Beaver Brook? Yeah, Beaver Brook. Wow. Oh. Beaver Brook golf. In a quarter of a mile, and Beaver Brook roundabout, take the first exit onto Leatherhead by Pass Road. That's the golf course. Helen has found... Water. A canal. And this... Oh, it's a river. Oh, is it's it? It's a river. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Looks more canally to me. It's a very fast moving river. And me without my kayak. And we're trying to get into Leatherhead Village Town Centre, which is through this tree line. So I think if we follow the river down and then go back on ourselves on the other side of the river, that'll take us into the town centre, hopefully. We've literally stumbled upon a quite a nice little nature spot on a wild Helen. You know me, I'm a fan of my maps. So that's where we're trying to get to. We were here, weren't we? We started down there, at the leisure centre. Now we're here, and then we're going to end up in the town centre. Yay! I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Dragonfly. We are at the Leatherhead Bridge. And entering into the town centre of Leatherhead. Oh, the running horse. The running horse. The running horse tavern. Where we can stop for a beverage, you know. Lovely. I could have parked there. Right, let's explore Leatherhead. Hi. How do you know you're posh? <gasps> when you're bred from Waitrose, that's how you know you're posh. Waitrose and partners. We have situated the Mini and arrived at the oldest Tesco in the UK. Card accepted. Hey. What do you know about getting £3.30 of savings? Oh yeah. Let's go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bookham. Look at his license plate. Tell me if it's insured or not. Tell me. Welcome back to Bookham. The, the Austin house. Right, where are you going? Oh. That makes sense. Join us at the church. Everyone's welcome. Brilliant! Wonderful! Good then, job! Whoa! Nice! Go on, you got this. You got the hang of it now, go for it. Much better! Hey, that's the best one! There you go! Smashed it! High five! Hey, very good. Having a beautiful day at the Kingswood Golf. We've got little gremlin over there, picking up some extra balls. Gorgeous. Hello, so this is voiceover Tom, and basically this was... The section in the video where the Legoland vlog was supposed to take place, however, I've uploaded that full video as a separate thing on the main channel. So go over to the Tom Origins YouTube channel and check out that full video if you want to. It's the entire day of Legoland. We're now going to roll into our next bit of the London adventure that took place after the Legoland vlog. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's going What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? We're playing football on a golf course. Everything's going on. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Mini Mobile. Today, it's beautiful. Look at the weather. It's actually nice today in England, which is a change. And we are off on another adventure. We've done so much. We've done some little free roaming adventures, which has been nice. We've been adventuring around and we've explored little bits of the golf course and London in general in the Surrey Hill countryside. And we went and did Legoland, which is... But today, we're going to... Ba Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute privilege to welcome you to Brighton. And we can see the sea! When this Look at the sea! Oh, well, when this lovely BMW X1 decides to park. We can nearly see the sea. So there, there it is! Wait, wait, wait. There's the sea! We've arrived in Brighton. The home of the sea. We've, we've literally been suggested this trip by Kerry and Paul. Kerry and Paul Travel Agency are the sponsors of today's video. But Kerry and Paul have suggested Brighton because their new house is much closer. And we had a very nice sort of 50 minute, 50 minute stint on the motorway. And then the last 10 minutes we were on the, the roads coming into Brighton and off the motorway. We are in Brighton. And it is time to explore. We have a, I've written down a game plan before we arrived. So uh, we're going to go and try and see a few different sites. And we know that there's a few famous locations. So we're going to try and tick those off as we go. And uh, yeah, all in all, should be a great day. So um, let's go and see the sea. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brighton. Woo! Look at that. Behind me here. Is the British countryside. That's normally what's behind, but today it's the British Ocean. Look at it. Look at it. That is cool. That is so cool. Of course, Helen wants to stand in front of the ocean. That's a seagull. <laughs> Look at the duck. There's Helen walking along the Brighton beachfront. She found a... What's that? She found a cool pebble? That's pretty cool. She 
around the seashell. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Ellen, run! Run! <laughs> Here it is, Edward the Seventh, 1901 to 1910. A very famous statue indeed. Helen is enjoying her bucket list item Hello. of chips on the beach. Here we are. We've now walked from Hove Beach, which we were on before. So this is this is the actual Brighton Beach now. But uh, we've got a very special place to visit in the city, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. We've got the Brighton Bandstand, that's another stop. We saw the Angel statue just up there. And I've got the Brighton Bandstand, which is pretty awesome. Up there. But that's our reference point to actually get off the beach and use these stairs to get off the beach and head into the city. This is Brighton's war monument to, in memory of all of the soldiers and officers, non commissioned officers and men of the Royal Suffolk Regiment who fell in South Africa from 1900 to 1902. Wow. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Regent Square, a famous part of Brighton. There you go, for you pub fans out there. Shepherd's name is the Turn oldest- to Russell Square. Thank you, Google Maps. Oldest British brewer at the Regency Tavern. Now this feels very ye old England, but they do deliver on Deliveroo, so Shakespeare can get it on Deliveroo. <laughs> Churchill Square Shopping Centre. Wendy, Wendy's? In Brighton? In Brighton there's a Wendy's. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Churchill Shopping Centre Square in Brighton of all places. We have found a Mankind advertisement board for the shop Mankind, which is pretty cool. This place is crawling with different things, but here's some things that interest me the most. Right down here, we've got all these window displays. Looking cool. You got the Lego Star Brighton with the Lego Pirate guy, which looks pretty cool. I guess Brighton and Pirates, because it's by the sea. That makes sense. Whoa. Hi. What? The dragons in the window. Where? Whoa. Medieval village. Dungeons and dragons. We're tempted for this. We're tempted. Snow White's cottage. All the Duplo section. Coming in now as an ex-Lego employee and enjoying it from a customer's point of view is so much cooler. I'm gonna go and explore. Where, where is it? At the very back? Yeah. Oh, at the top. Whoa, that is awesome. That's, they made the entire staff and the shop and the pick-a-brick wall. See, we were never allowed to do cool stuff like this in our shop. That's so cool. That's sick. And they've all got little special torsos and everything. That's mad. This is worth documenting that the WH Smiths has a Lego section, which is kind of cool. And this massive guy. That's pretty cool. Right, we're looking for the new book. New Lego Star Wars book. Fingers crossed, we might find it. This is the clock. Another famous Brighton icon in the city centre. It's very nice. We'll write it on our list momentarily. But we've been searching for this book for so goddamn long. Let's pray. This could be it. This could be it. On your right. Right? Hell in this section's huge. On the right. Jam. I did not think I'd be searching a Lego for a Lego book in the see Brighton bookshop. Helen, what have we done? She said literally come upstairs and turn right. Yeah. What have we done? What have we done? How have we done this? She literally told us to come upstairs and turn right and we did that and we completely lost it. That's left. Did she mean her left? Did she mean our right? No, shut up. 
Moment of truth, this might not be the right one. Might not be the right one. Yes! Yes! Yes, you beauty! Helen's grabbed issue number 24, Volume Life and number Death. 24. Volume number 24, Life and Death. So we can both be our <laughs> bookworms. We've both got in our books. We're in this awesome Forbidden Planet in Brighton. It looks awesome. It's really cool. Gentlemen, we've come all the way to Brighton and we got the Star Wars Visual Dictionary updated edition with the mini Darth Maul. Let's go. Happy days, happy days. But the real reason is we came for the Brighton seaside. Look at this. It's beautiful. This is Brighton Beach. Over there's the Brighton Pier in the distance. And uh, that's a Brighton Seagull. Amazing. Which is beautiful. It's very nice. As you can see, we've got some fairy lights and such. Helen's gone to acquire us a coffee each. And then we're going to make our way up patrolling the beach. And uh, over to the famous Brighton Pier. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brighton Palace Pier. Welcome to Brighton Palace Pier, 125 years of world famous history. Wow, 125 year old pier. Whoa. Oh. Oh my god, Helen. That at the very end. Oh my god, that's a lot of seagulls. That at the very end, Helen. See where those buildings are? Yeah. <laughs> See where that building slopes down? Where all those, see where all that black concrete is over there in the distance? In, sticking into the ocean? Yeah. That black concrete is the boundary line of the marina. Oh. oh. And then when you see where that white building looks like it's kind of sloped like a slice of cheese. Yeah. It's pointing towards like what looks like a brown and white building on the beach. Yeah. That's the weather spoons. Oh. Okay. Shit. <laughs> oh, look at that place so far in kitchen. That's, cream and that's miles away, Helen. That, Helen, you can't even see the people. The people have disappeared into the distance. That's pretty cool. You guys can't catch this on the camera, but it smells amazing, I promise. There it is, boys, the Brighton Palace Pier. Going in there for the old old arcade. But we're not going to do that because they look like they're going to rub our pennies. So we're going to just walk on the pier for free. It looks bizarre. Helen, the amount of seagulls. Helen, that looks like they've just glitched out in the sky. That looks like they've just lost internet connection. Helen, that's insane. That's bizarre. Oh my god, there's more of them. I've never seen birds do this. That's actually bizarre. Whoa, it's got. Helen, it's got all of the European flags going on it. Helen. The pier's got every single European country's flag on it. That's pretty cool. What flag's that? Brazil? No. Uh, Benidorm? I don't, I don't, I don't, Sweden! I know oh, that. Sweden? Yeah, Sweden. Oh. Denmark. Yeah. I don't know flags. I don't know flags. That's like, really... Portuguese? No. Oh. I don't... <laughs> I'm not good with flags, I don't know. Whoa, there's guns. Oh, hello, and there's blickies. Helen, there's more, there's, this must have set, oh, KSI, this must, have, this must set the world record for how many times the word donut can be printed on a sign. Like Lando, no, you'll feel like this. No, but Lando does like, longer, surely. It's a mile there and back. It's the famous Peter Lando, no. No, but this is Oh, Oh, pins. Get them on Vinted. <laughs> That's a shout out to Kerry there, my sister, she loves Vinted. We're doing the one-mile walk. It's more than a mile we walked. Yeah, we walked all the way from over there, to be fair. Oh, the Choo-choo! Where the spoons? Where the spoons? To the place for where the spoons? Ladies and gentlemen, can I just borrow the words of a famous YouTuber right now and just say, would you just look at that view? Thumbnail! We've got it! That's beautiful. We have walked slightly off course, ever so slightly off course. But, Helen, I understand why you couldn't read it. The D is missing. It just says Avid Lloyd. UBS. But we thought that was the weather spoons. We, we, 
Oui, oh, oui. Oui, oui. Oui. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Helen is French and she's very excited. But we, we, are, we, are, that's quite clever. We are walking. They have a Screen X Cinema and a Starbucks, Helen. I'm moving to Brighton. I'm sorry. I think it's great. Look at it. Look at that view for a start. Brighton is gorgeous. There's the sea. There's the city. I'm buying that house on the hill and we're having a grand old time. But that is the weather spoons. I'm apologize. Apologising, ladies and gentlemen, that is the weather spoon. So it's a little bit further than I thought we'd have to walk. But all in all, it's not that bad. It's behind a McDonald's. So you know it's good. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, one small step for Northern Boy Kind. We've made it. The North have taken over. We represent. Not a bad view for your tea, is it? Beautiful. The Brighton Marina. Absolutely gorgeous. The only weather spoons by the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brighton Marina. That was the lovely weather spoons we were just in. There it is. The crazy daisy. The Brighton Marina. And the Broadwalk. No, that says Broadwalk. That says Broadwalk. Does it? Board. Helen sings. She does references. Oh, those. Oh my gosh. Look at those boats. That's so cool. Click. I like boats. I want a boat. I want to get a boat and sail the seven seas. The West Key Weatherspoons, right above the ocean. Amazing. I'm 99% sure it's the only Weatherspoons in the UK that sits above the water. 99% sure. <laughs> Leave 1% marginal room for some smart ass in the comments to be like, actually, actually, there's one in Dorking. It's nowhere near the sea. But that's a big ice cream. There you go, Helen. You said you wanted an ice cream. That's Helen's dessert after a long walk I made her do. But we are ready to find possibly a train. Ooh. Yeah. Look at my hair. I did not film for I did not dare. But as you can tell from my spiky hair, <laughs> the weather took a turn and the sea became the land and we got absolutely saturated. So. Brighton is good, but also bring an umbrella too. We will see you in a bit. Peace. It is a whopping 6.19. And we are setting off. So we will see where we end up. In like four hours <laughs> and a bit. Hopefully. Let's see. Hopefully it won't be too bad. But yes, the London trip has come to an end. And we'll be saying farewell to rainy London for now, but hopefully in the summer we may return for more adventures. Ladies and gentlemen, a very tired Tom and a very tired Helen. But we have finished our London adventure. So if you have enjoyed, and if you have liked, then do that. Subscribe, ding dong the bell. This is going to be on the Telen channel. So enjoy with all of our other adventures. And we will see you in the next adventure of um, peace bye so guys that's right we've just finished our easter vlog adventure thank you for tuning in thank you for watching it it's been kind of mad we've been really busy from the moment i picked helen up towards the very end of march and then we obviously went on our massive adventure we did legoland i did my longest drive ever down to my sister's house a great place to stay, really cool place to do some fun adventures in the future. And we even explored a lot of local areas to us. We got to explore around our own local areas, like exploring around the Pennines and the reservoirs and stuff, which you can see now on screen. We even had the cool privilege of having our friends come and join us for a random surprise walk. There's some pictures of us exploring the same walk we previously did. 
We then also managed to go up and do Ogden Reservoir and some other reservoir walks. The weather is very rarely nice here in the UK, so it's always good to optimise that when you can and try and get it, you know, to its fullest extent because otherwise if you leave it too long, you'll miss out on a good patch and you will get absolutely saturated. Like, sometimes on this adventure, obviously where we didn't get to film it because I was worried about damaging my phone and things like that, it was pretty good weather all around. We got really lucky in Windsor, really lucky for the majority of the day in Brighton. No complaints there whatsoever. I was really chuffed. Getting to go on walks with my boys, my little nephews, and getting to see them, even though they live like five hours away, it nearly, you know, it nearly feels like. Getting to take them to their first sort of ride opening and mine and Helen's first ride opening. Going to Legoland Windsor and just seeing the crowds that it attracted for the day one of the new minifigure speedway ride was insane. It was a really cool trip and as long as my sister lives down there, which I think she plans to do for the foreseeable future at least, it will definitely open the door to more opportunities and adventures based around her house. Not only that though, obviously this summer me and Helen have got plans for adventures. We did quite a lot of abroad stuff last year where we went to the likes of Prague and our first cruise and all of that's documented here on the channel. You can go check all that out. And obviously some stuff like the Legoland vlog and American videos are over on the main channel too. But we have got so much planned for the summer. I'm keeping very tight-lipped about it at the moment. I'm, I'm not giving anything away. You'll see it when you see it. But just know that this summer we're going to stay homebound. We're going to explore the UK a lot more. Maybe get some of our friends involved too would be lovely. But I'm not going to spoil too much. I'm just going to leave you with this video. And I'm really, really proud of it. I feel like the editing's getting a lot smoother. I'm getting a lot more compliments for the, for the editing styles I'm going for nowadays. Which is really nice to see and to hear. Obviously, this is just like a photo montage at the end of some of the best bits. But honestly, great trip all around. I'm proud of myself doing a long drive. Proud of Helen for being a great map woman and helping me out with the filming. It's It's been a dream of mine for a few years now to actually get to do car vlogs where you drive around and have your partner film you. Obviously, I couldn't do that without her. So thanks for watching and peace. Switch up all the rules. And imagine a utopia Does perfect even mean?